Oops. All right, so let's pray. A lot of time. So when others come, do we? They will join us. They will come to join us. So close your eyes and uh, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord, for this privilege. As we go through this class, we ask for understanding and make it a success, Holy Spirit, because you are the greatest teacher. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Son of God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Um, Amen. That's good. So, uh, last week, we we consider constitutional developments part one. And today, you are expected to, to be able to uh, state the, the features of Richard Constitution. You are also expected to be able to highlight the advantages, significance, and the weaknesses, the merits of Richard Constitution. So that is what I expected um, today. So, and last week, we, I gave you an assignment. So I want to start with that. I give an assignment. Uh, just, but briefly, just can you tell me what you what you were able to learn last week? Right? Just tell me one or two things. Uh, can you tell me one or two things what you learned last week? So that will just progress. Um, so let me allow you to to recall. In the merit of different constitution. Uh, pardon? Sorry, what did you say? Merit of different constitution. Okay, that's what uh, can you give me one of it? Constitution. You say what? Constitution. 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 Uh, what about constitution? Okay, the, okay, the first constitution. It was the first written constitution. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. I don't know why I say uh, the place is just making that thing just well, I think it's maybe it's in the network. Nice. Okay. All right. Um I, I gave you a weekend assignment. That is it. You can see it here displayed on this on the slide. What are the aims and objectives of Richard Constitution? Uh we're going to start with that one. It's a revised question. I had network, I had network problem, so I didn't see the assignment. Eh, ah, okay. So you didn't see it? Yes, sir. Eh, ah, okay. Yes, so anyway, sir. anyway, no problem. We will continue. Uh, this person that I just uh, admitted now, please uh, put on your video, please. That student that I just admitted, ad ad admitted now, please put on your video. Uh, Chidalu, you're welcome. Put on your video. So let's, let's try to be early and uh, punctual, okay? So I've, uh, I've told you the, um, what we're going to learn today about Richard Constitution, about Richard Constitution. All right, so actually what gave right to Richard was the defects of uh, Clifford Constitution. Another word for defect is uh, the limitations gave rise to Richard Constitution. The disadvantages of Clifford Constitution, uh, the weaknesses of, of Clifford Constitution led to Richard's Constitution. So um, as an introduction here, the defect of the Clifford Constitution of 1922 led to the introduction of the Richard Owell Constitution of 19. 46. So that is his, uh, you can see his complete name now, Richard Orwell of 1946. So now uh, these are the features. Uh, Chidalu, please put on your video. Chidalu, 
please put on your video. I want to see your face. Okay, please. Just please, just do that now. Put on your video, Chidalu. Um, can you hear me, Chidalu? If you can hear me, say yes. Mm -hmm. Say I do. And put on your sound too, because I you've not responded to my question. Have you heard? Can you hear me? And if 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 you can hear me, say I do. Please, Chidalu, put on your put on your sound, unmute yourself, put on your video too. Yes. Okay. Another person trying to connect now. Esther. Esther, that is a uh, Ebojo. Please put on your video. Put on your video. Um, Chidalu is. I don't know. Are you disconnected? Please connect back. Connect back, please. Uh, Esther, put on your video, please. All right. Let's continue. Uh, Joba, thank you for your punctuality. Okay. All right. Uh, Esther, now can you hear me? If you can hear me, wave your hand. Esther, good. All right. Um, well, let's continue. Now let's look at the features. Yes, you are welcome back, uh, Chidalu. Please put on your video and uh, unmute yourself. Let me uh, so I can hear you. Uh -huh. That's good. I can hear you. The picture has gone back again. Okay. Uh, put it on. Hi, sir. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So I can see your faces now, please. I want it like this, please. Don't let don't let it go off. Uh, once you're this in, please bring it back. Now let me, let me see my students. Let me see you. Uh, all right, thank you, thank you for that. Now the first uh, features, uh, visible features mm -hmm. of uh, richer constitution as regionalism, regionalism. Now it divided Nigeria into three regions. Now, namely, there was the northern region, the eastern and the western regions this means that he created regional assembly so this is one of the features that you can see in uh, uh, richard you know he divided it uh you know clifford didn't do this one you know you know he didn't do that you know how many regions did uh, clifford even had myself can you, i know i know if you remind me yes esther can you remind me this regionalism now but well, you know that of clifford you know we didn't have something like this so you can see the you can see the changes now. Eh? Can you can you can you can you tell me the regions that was in Clifford? Yes, the region that was in Clifford. Esther, uh, are you are you with me? At the network is uh, is shaking. Uh, tell me now. Are you speaking? Okay, Joba, please can you help her? Can you can you help quickly? How many regions? Or oh, any of you, Chidalu? Uh, eh? When you look at the features of uh, Clifford Constitution, huh? the one we treated last week, uh -huh. the, I, didn't, I don't want to tell you the region. I'm asking now. Now, now for the Richard, uh, he created three regions north, east, and south. You can see it here now. All right, and west, rather. North, east, and west. So, what of Clifford? How many how many regions did he create? So I think four or two. Kai, you say you think four or two? <laughs> no. Yes, sir. Just just please choose one. <laughs> you say you think you want so to say yes, you are correct. So you must pick one because today you are going to write in your exam. You are not tell the examiner you think four or two. So you just pick one and tell me. Uh, just pick one. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. So two. Two. Uh -huh. Thank you. Two. Oh, yeah, tell me the two. Oh, yeah, tell me the two now. Name the two. <laughs> Name the two regions. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, don't know. Please. Okay, who want to who want to help him? North and west. North and west. Uh -huh. West. North and south. Thank you. North and south. Is that the king? You see, that's west. Is uh, is part of. Is uh, included in the in in south. Is that taking? That that uh, that west is included is included in south. You understand? And that was what Clifford focused on. He focused on uh, so he, he brought about sectionalism. He focused on the uh, south. You know because of the oil, because of the natural resources that were in the south. You understand? So the north was a uh, kind of excluded in Clifford Constitution. Uh -huh. So uh, you know he was accused of sectionalism. 
Clifford was accused of sectionalism. But here now you can see how many regions now that uh, Richard created. He created three regions. I know gradually, up to now, <laughs> we now had we now have uh, 36 states in Nigeria. We now have 36 states in Nigeria. So each governor, as it came, you know, you know the just expansion, trying to make a little adjustment and the rest, you know, little, 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 little changes in their constitution. All right, let's uh, let's move on. Now we have seen one features now, one features of Richard constitution. In case I ask you, regionalism. That is, uh, you, we have three regions, creating three regions. Let's look at uh, more, more features of uh, um, richer constitution. Now you can see, that you can see this in, uh, on the slide. So look at it well. Um, uh, the second one is Central Legislative Council. Now it established a single legislative council for the whole Nigeria. For the first time, it allowed unofficial members in the legislative council. The Legislative Council, which was enlarged in order to allow for the representation of all diverse shades of opinion and interest, had 44 members. Now, do you, do you take note of something here now? Let's, okay, let me, let me just, let me finish then I will just make a comparison. Okay, members, in all, in all, made up of 28 majority, non-officials, and 16 minority officials or 16 officials. So you can see, you can see uh, this, this, is a, this is a little bit contrary to that of Clifford Constitution. Now, if you remember that, uh, that's Clifford Constitution. <laughs> so the, the legislative members, the legislative members, they were, they were 40, 46. Do you understand? They were 46, <laughs> they were 46. And even where they were for see, we, we had four Nigerians and 42 whites. So, but here, you can see something here that uh, now the, the members, they are 44. The legislative council here, they are 44. And, and okay, that same, that same um, in another feature of that uh, Clifford Constitution, you, you will see that the Nigerian council that was abolished by Clifford, the Nigeria Council, you know, newly were at six. 24 were whites, you understand? Then we have 12 non official. All right. And that 12 non official is even divided into two. We had six Nigerians, you understand? And then we also have, we also have six. They are also white, but they are unofficial. And one of you know, I, I said last week that one represented a business, one, another one represented commerce, two, another one represented com uh, chambers of commerce, three. Then we also have banking for, we also have shipping. You understand? We also have shipping. So they're about six. They're about six. You understand? On official. But if you see this one now, there's this there's a slight difference. 46 members against, I mean 44 members against 46 of that of Clifford. And, and that of Clifford, six non-officials. But here we have many. So you can see that we have 28 non-officials here now. You can you, you, now you can see the difference between Richard and is you now he gave a is he allow he, 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 now his, his own member his own council here there were more of non officials there were more of the legislative council were were more of non officials so just try to, I'm trying to just recall you I'm just trying to recall one of this so that you see there are little differences so that members to go for that one will be looking at uh, the disparity between Clifford and uh, Richard Constitution, or the difference between Clifford and Richard Constitution. That the majority here now, the official, the official here now, and the official, they are just 16, while non official, they are 28. So you can see that non official is more compared to that of uh, Richard, uh, to, compared to that of Clifford Constitution. So just, just take note of uh, this uh, little point that I'm trying to like point out, bring out to you. All right, let's look at another uh, features of Richard Constitution. Is that Nigerians inclusion. Now, let me, let me explain it now. Is it, it widened the scope of the Nigerian representations in the Legislative Council. So um, actually it, uh, it, it, it increased, it increased. And um, actually in Richard Constitution, Nigerians were, they, they were more, they were more. You can see the non-official, non-official they are made up of 28. Uh -huh. Which is that number is greater than that of six, that of twelve of uh, Clifford Constitution, that of 
that of and don't don't forget that even Clifford, you know, we only had six uh, six Nigerians. We are we are we are the six Nigerians, and uh, remember that even the executive uh, uh, official, executive council, there was no even there was no single Nigeria in Clifford. There was no single Nigeria in Clifford. All the executive members were they were white, and uh, this thing, and uh, you know. So let's uh, you as we let's progress. Let's look at a uh, more more uh, more features of a uh, richer constitution now native authorities that is point four it linked native authorities with the regional assemblies and linked regional assemblies to the central executive council you know these native authorities you know there are all these um, uh, traditional institutions they are native authorities simply means traditional institutions as oba the chiefs and you know and all these things and uh, the king's cabinet and the rest all these things so you know they have their functions but you know you know you know that the Aosa, you know we have the emia we have the galadima we have this i think you have done it now right i think i have uh i would have taught you uh um, you've done it now yes remember you have done it then the yoruba too when you have oba you have all this a uh, bashonu we have the seven uh, king uh, makers yeah. and the uh, Obonis, uh, uh, Obonis society and the rest. So you see, these are various institutions. Then when you go to the Igbo too, you know, uh -huh, you know, you know, you know them too. You know, so so these are various uh, uh, native authority. So um, so it linked native authority to regional assemblies and uh, from regional assembly to the central and this. So you can you can see the reporting now. And you know that you can see how they are reporting from the, 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 the native you know you know all these traditional institutions you know they were given functions they were they were empowered by the by the colonial masters they were empowered you know they were empowered they collect money taxes and the rest and all this and some of them were even part of the legislative uh, despite the fact that uh, they were uneducated and they didn't really, really know what they were doing and they didn't even make uh, contributions to bring changes for independence i tell you that was why that was one major problem that uh, the educated elite they were they didn't like these uh, traditional rulers you know you know you know the colonial master you know the british that colonized us they use you know they use the traditional rulers they use them why the the, the uneducated they use the uneducated traditional because anytime they they gather at a uh, at, uh, at the legislative uh, meeting and all these things they don't even make they don't make contributions so whatever the wife says they don't even criticize their policies whether it's even detrimental to the citizens of Nigeria, they don't criticize it. When the wife said, he say, yes, 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 it's correct, it's correct. Yes, let's go and on. You know, they were just like they were more like uh, zombies. So they don't, they cannot, they don't, they don't criticize uh, the, the law. They couldn't criticize the laws, uh, the laws of the white people and uh, their policy. They couldn't criticize it. But you know, the educated like that was why the, the 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 British, the colonial master, they excluded the educated like the like of uh, Obafemi Awolowo and the. Uh, uh, you know, Namdi Azikwe, these were, these are actually educated Nigerians, you understand? They, they didn't want to actually make use of them because, you know, they would criticize them and whatever it is, they would criticize them and all this. And with time, before you, before you knew it, you know, all these, uh, the West African student union, they were, they say, okay, all right, please, we want to be free, I want to have our own self-government and the other organization, uh, the, you know, okay, can you mention another one again, you know, uh, uh, yes? Can you can you remember those of the different organizations? We did it in nationalism. We did it anyway. Uh, for yeah, time, shall let's. Eh? Hello. Yeah, which organization? I say the West African Student Union. Uh, you know, in a way, they fought for independence. Hmm? All those organizations are taught to in nationalism. All right, let's continue. Another another um, features of Richard Constitution is federalism. Now, Richard Constitution laid the foundation for federalism and federal constitution in Nigeria political structure. Look at how he even started myself. He tried to like, uh, you know, create three region, you know, create three region. Even at a point in time, you know, uh, he tried to like unite the legislature, bring them together and all these things. Bring them together, the North, the West, and the South, you understand? And uh, trying to like empower each, each region. You know, if, if you look at a federal constitution, you know, it's like, a, you see, splitting of power, it give, it give power to each, to each region. It give power to each region and all these things. It give power to each region. Because if you look at that at Clifford, 
Cliff are all, Cliff are focus on South and left and left North. You understand? It was like more of government of of one side, one sided government and all this. So he gave power to you know, the North, the South, and the East. So actually, it uh, it it laid the Richard Constitution, and that this one this one key features of Richard, one key attribute that it laid the foundation for federalism. So if they ask you when I, whether I'm white, when you, when the time comes for you to write white, when you talk of uh, and which of the colonial master laid the foundation for federalism, you should know that it's Richard. It's Richard. Richard he laid the foundation, and uh, but actually, but when we go for that, when we go to Littington Constitution. Uh, that one gave true federalism. Littleton actually gave true federalism. Because even Richard, Richard to have his own criticism and all this thing. Littleton actually gave true federalism. As you go further, you, you see the difference. And uh, you, you, you see the difference. All right, let's, the next one is one legislature. It brought the North and the South together under one legislature, which Clifford didn't do. Which Clifford didn't do. It brought them under one legislature. One legislature. It's like, this is our National Assembly now, you know, when you add it together and all these things. So he brought them under one legislature. All right, the um, elective principle. Now, it was reduced. You know, you remember, do you know, uh, you know, the, you know, Clifford too had an elective principle, and Richard also has it, but there's a difference. You know, in the elective principle of Clifford, once an election was only allowed in Lagos and Calabar, if you remember, yes, it was allowed in Lagos and Calabar. This only these two cities, so you can imagine. Only so the Nigerians were the electorate were, were, were given the power to, to exercise their franchise in Calabar. But do you know the constraint there? The constraint was that uh, and for any for any Nigeria to be able to vote for a member in the legislature is that <laughs> you must you must be able to earn up to 100, 100 euro per annum in a year, or you should have a property that's equal to 100 euro. So that was the condition. But in Richard, Richard now reduced it because he wanted Nigerians to be, to be he wanted uh, more Nigerians to participate, to choose their leader. He now reduced it to 50 euro. You can see he cut it, he cut it into three. He said, okay, all right, all right. I want my own constitution to be different. I want my own regime to be different. What is going to happen is that 100 million, that, that 100 euro will, will no longer be obtainable again. So. I bring it down to 50. Now, now more Nigeria participated. They now, you kind of, you understand? They, they, they voted for their choice leader in the, in the legislature. Please get it. So it's 50 euro. That of Clifford is what? 100 euro. Please know that. You can see, I didn't put it on the slide, but I'm just telling you. So it's, an, it's, a, it's just an additional information. It's not everything I'll just put there. But right, let's continue. Now, the next thing, I, let us look at the, the advantages of Richard Constitution. Now we are, we are we are done with the features. Now let's go to the advantages of Richard Constitution. All right, you can see it now. The merits or advantages of Richard Constitution. Number one. Now you see, do you know something? Eh? Now once you know the merits, yes, you will now use the merits to know the advantages. You know, government, ba. You know, government is broad, is voluminous. Sometimes you, some of you will be asking when I'm teaching, you say, teacher, give us the error of focus and the rest. Another way is that uh, you see all this thing that have advantage, disadvantage, and all these features of a team. Once you know the features, you, you're able to know your features, your points, and all this. So you can use it to develop your merit. It will really help you. You know, because some of you, some of you are cramming. You just cram, you just cram the points. You go to merit. You some of you as you are reading, like you just close your you just close your book. When you close your book, you start looking up like this, eh? you are trying to recall uh, what you have read, and uh, you know, some of you do a lot of cramming and the rest. But no, to just help you and uh, so that you don't be cramming too much. Once you know the features, use the features to coin your merits and your demerits and whatever it is. Because in the features, you see, you see what is not okay there. Something I want to look negative, I want to look like a limitation and all these things. So you should know that yes, you can develop it. That would be that would be the disadvantage of that uh, of that point. That's that's a disadvantage. And anything that looks positive positive in the features, you now turn it to merit. That, that's how you pass your exam, so that you don't do too much cramming. You just cram the features, cram all the features, then you'll be wasting your time and be cramming merit and demerit. No, no, no. So, so there's a technique. Once you know the features very well, you're able to defend it. So there's a way you, 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 you bring out the advantages and the disadvantage from it. 
All right, let's look at the first one now. He said, foundation for federalism. You know, we, you know that, one, that one, it was in the future, in the future, so in the characteristics. Now, he said, Richard Constitution laid a foundation for federalism and federal constitution in Nigeria political structure. Now, this one, this, uh, this, this advantage is now, we had it in our future. So you can see it now, it's almost the same thing. So that's how to, that's the technique of government. Now, the second one again, let's look at the second point, another merit of Richard Constitution. By camera legislature, it's introduced by camera legislature in the north. Now, do you know something? You see this by camera legislature. Now, in the north now, you know what it did? Now, it like created uh, two legislature there now. You know, you know when, when they say by camera legislature, that means you have what? Uh, okay, can you, can, you just, can you just describe by camera legislature in our contemporary uh, our, our Nigeria now? Yes, any of you, when you say by camera legislature, what do you understand by, by camera legislature? Let's link it with what we have now. I don't want to call it. Oh, yeah, any of you? Yes, Chidalu, let me call you. Can you just explain that by camera legislature? Sir? Yes, you know, they say Richard introduced by Kamala legislature in his time. So, what is our own by Kamala legislature right now? Nigeria by Kamala legislature. Can you just say, uh, just share more light? Eh? I, so, I think like the president, uh, like two people make decisions. Ah, uh, Chidalu, no, it's not like the president too. The president is an executive. Please, don't even bring the president here. You understand me? Don't even say which president. Yes, sir. <laughs> president is an executive. It's an executive. Uh, so please, who has a uh, anybody with a uh, who want to help him? Yes, Joba. Ah, don't tell me you, you did it in JS3 now. Hmm? You did it in JSS. You did civic in JSS and all this uh, talking about uh, by camera legislature uh, and you the camera uh, legislature. Uh, divided into two. So I don't know how to explain it. Sir, so is it House of Representative House of Representative and Senate? Uh, hey, two yes, 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 now that is it now. <laughs> it is, it is, that is it now, please. Uh, Esther, are you are you with me? Yes. Wanna talk of uh, okay, you want to say something, Esther? No, sir. Okay, but you are you are, you are listening, you are with us, but all right, Chidalu. Now I want to I want you all to listen. When when you hear by camera legislature. So just as you said, the Senate, hmm? we call it what? Another word for the Senate is what? Have upper chamber. Upper chamber, thank you, upper chamber. Then, okay, then uh, the lower house, what do you call it? House of Representatives. Uh -huh. House of Representatives or lower, or lower chamber. Thank you very much. Upper chamber and lower <laughs> chamber. So we have the Senate. We have the Senators, the Senate and the House of Rep. So how many members of Senate do we have? What's your number? You did it in JSS, so well, yes, we did it in JSS. I think I was one that taught you in JSTD, and I taught you civic in JSTD. So how many, how many senators do you have in Nigeria? Uh, eh? uh, in network. What's the number? Can somebody say something? Uh, one hundred and nine. Uh -huh. Thank you, Joba. One hundred and nine. Thank you very much. Then, how many members of the uh, House of Rep? Uh, rep uh, the, uh, the House of Representative, yes. The Senators, we are one hundred and nine. Then, uh, the House of Rep, how many are they? The lower house now. Three hundred and sixty. Yes, yeah, three hundred and sixty. Then, when you add it together, when you sum it, what will it give you? Uh, yeah, four hundred and. Uh -huh. Uh, 469. Uh -huh. Thank you. 469. So that is it. So by camera legislature. Now, you see, for that of Richard, you now say by camera legislature that this, that is regional assembly. That is one. Then the other one is house of chief. House of chief. Do you understand? That house of chief, these are the, all these uh, traditional institution. Is that taking? So they make up the by camera legislature for Richard constitution. We have regional assembly and house of chief. Please get it. That's their own bicameral legislature. But as it is now, we don't have a house of chief in Nigeria. Do we have it? Uh, so we don't, we don't have it. So it's a, it's a separate uh, this city. Although each, uh, each town has a king and all these things, Miangwa, whatever you call it, and uh, this city. We don't have it presently. Uh, 
Uh, all right. So that has been decentralized. All right. Now the next one now another merit: increase Nigerian representation. It increase Nigerian representation in the Central Legislative Council. So actually, uh, Richard increased it because of the non-official members. I know uh, those non-official members they were like uh, 28. So that's an increase. Indeed. Now the next one: regionalism. It introduced regionalism in Nigeria. You know, it split Nigeria into three: north, south, and west. Yes. Right? North, south, and yes, north, south, and what? North, west. east, and north, east, and what? West, west, west. Uh -huh, west. Thank you. Then another point again: reduction of franchise qualification. It was reduced. Now you reduce if, uh, the franchise qualification to how much? Oh yeah, now I told you before. Now. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now, do you see it now? These are the advantages. And all this thing we had it in uh, the features. So let's look at the disadvantages now. All right, the merit of future constitution of 1940. Participation. Actually, he allowed uh, he allowed more Nigerians to participate in their governance. Then number two, limited franchise. So another disadvantage is that, uh, see, you know, actually in this participation myself, and the uh, Nigerians, more of them were not uh, actually participating. They didn't really participate because of uh, even the money. So many Nigerians couldn't even afford that 50 uh, euro. So many. So, and uh, in a way, that was not even uh, good enough. And uh, limiting it to, you know, uh, Calabar and Lagos is actually a disadvantage. Okay, what of other other parts? What of other parts? Is it only Calabar and Lagos that we had there? No, even your village was even there, even if uh, it was not really uh, really discovered. Maybe as at then there was no road, and uh, maybe uh, some of your forefathers they were living inside the rock or inside underground and whatever it is. <laughs> so your village, your village was still in existence and all this is. So they, they, there was no voting there. They didn't even vote. For their choice candidates, there you understand. So, and uh, this colonial master only re restricted it to Lagos and Calabar. So that is a disadvantage. No, it's not. Uh, but as it is now, you see voting everywhere in Nigeria. You know, everywhere it assisted even your village. They are casting votes and all these rewards and all this is consistency and the rest. All right, another one, another disadvantage of Richard Constitution is limited franchise. And uh, you see, it has to even do with the vote too. A lot, of just few people. Um, many Nigerians didn't participate in that by uh, that that one. And the, there was also limited franchise here, and a lot of people were not uh, being good on the undergo the voting process. A lot of Nigerians they were disenfranchised, and uh, this thing. and uh, you know, looking at the money too, uh, people that have up to 50, 50 euro and all this thing. So that is a limitation indeed. Then veto. And reserve power. You see, the governor exercise uh, veto power on the legislative council and the executive council. So he's, uh, he's not bound by the advice. If you like it, take it. If you like, will not take it. He exercises uh, such a great power. He has absolute power. I tell you, and that even made him a, a, a dictator. He was so autocratic and uh, this thing. So, you know, uh, he had that veto power. He, he exercised that veto power and uh, he must not is not is not compared to take the legislative council advice he can accept it and he may he may deem it fit to reject their advice and all these things so that is veto all right then um, hello what's what is it are you following yes, sir. okay now I'm um, looking at the uh, rule. Now uh, the governor is in a way he was uh, autocratic. Autocratic. Yes, he was an autocratic uh, 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 governor. You know because you know the way he exercised power on both the legislature and the executive. The executive. Yes, he exercised power on both the legislature and the executive. So uh, he ruled over the two council, both executive and legislature and legislative council. Then uh, the last one is uh, and uh, regions. So you discover, you agree with me that uh, now you see in the region, the region was not even divided equally. And now the northern part, the northern part, the northern region was, 
Okay, thank you very much. Another region was larger than the than the rest. Even as it is now, it's even obtained. Okay, look at the that is state in Nigeria. Then look at the northern states. It's still reflecting up to today. And how many northern states do we even have, Marcel? How many northern states? Yes, out of the 36. In northern regions. How many, how, how many northern states? Out of 36. Let's just, let's and take 19, that one. 19. Thank you, 19. And when you minus uh, subtract 19 from 36, what do we have left? Oh, yeah, now. Let's subtract it. Seventeen. Okay, you can see now two above. So it's not even equal. <laughs> it's not even equal. So the north is very large. The north is very large. The north is very large. You know, in the north, no, all this uh, north central is included in it. You know, but <laughs> north central is included in it. All this, you know, Benue. You know, Benue is north central, right? Another north central is what? We have Benue as north central. Another north central is what? Give me one state that you know in Nigeria is not central. Eh, yes. Sabono. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Thank you, Quara. Yes, Quara. Eh, Nasarawa, Niger, Benue. All these these are what? These are not central. Is that taking? These are not central. So the north is uh, very, very large. It's very, very large. All right, that is it. Um, before we draw the cutting, any question? I think uh, there's a, hold on, I'm coming. What is this one? Okay. All right. Any question? Um, there's a weekend assignment for you. Any question? Okay, now let me ask you, let me ask you. Can you, uh, Esther, can you tell me one features of Richard Constitution? Give me one features of Richard Constitution. Let me let me allow you to think. Huh? Anyway, I see within our time. Yes. Sure. We still have a few minutes left. Hello. The same challenge is later. He had what? Federalism. Central legislature. Okay, 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 okay. Federalism. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Joba, what is your take? Uh, features of uh, central legislature. Okay, that's central legislature. Okay. Uh, Chidalu. Sir. And uh, give me one features of uh, Richard Constitution. Hmm? So, so this, I'm only okay, but I can hear you. Can you hear me? The features of Richard Constitution. Yes. Yes, I'm hearing you now. All right. Well, give me one. So, I want to do state one. Yes. So he reduced the franchise money okay. to 50 euros. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. All right. Um, merits. Uh, give me any, any of the merits or demerits of Richard Constitution. Um, okay. You can think. So Esther, can you give me one uh, advantages of Richard Constitution? Uh, no, is uh, I'm talking to Esther. Wait, don't interrupt. Hold on first. You will say your own. Uh, Rich, uh, Esther. By camera um, registration. Okay, but I can't explain. Oh, yeah, yeah, explain it. You mean you have to read really, really. <laughs> What do you mean by camera? By camera, I go again. Atemba, lo atemba, something like that. By camera, it's <laughs> Is it lo atemba? Wait, to <laughs> the one that are telling me, see, is a. Uh, is a regional assembly and the house of chief. Is that the key? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. it's, not, it's, not, it's not this our own upper chamber and lower chamber. You understand? It's that house, house, house of chief. House of chief uh -huh. and the uh, regional assembly. All those uh, uh, legislative members. You understand? So, but we don't have that now. Uh, in the legislature, do you see any white man in our legislature? Uh, 
In fact, it, it's not even possible. <laughs> it's not possible. Mm -hmm. It's not possible that you see a white in our legislature and uh, uh, even a house of chief master. So it's not even possible. So we don't have any any bar as a, as a legislature there. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have. Okay. All right. Thank you. And uh, okay, this is your weekend assignment. Uh, you can see it's uh, this uh, display on the slide. What are the features of Mafeson Constitution? So um, this is what we're going to start with next week. So when we are starting, we are going to, so you are going to do it. You know, some of you, you will not want to do it. So we are going to start with this one. So that is, a, that is the first thing you tell me the answer before we proceed. You say, okay. So, so, so just get ready. Make sure you do it. Uh, Somebody is copying it. Uh, Joba, you are not copying it. You will forget to. You tell me that you have forgotten. <laughs> Joba, have you copied it? <laughs> Because so, so one of you told me I, you forgot, you forgot the assignment. You better copy it. Hey, stop. Hey, 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 stop. I will forget. No. So uh, I will not forget. Okay. Chidalu, copy it. Yeah. On your video, so Chidalu, no, let me see. I will not forget. <laughs> okay. So, 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 you better do copy and paste. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you eh? Yeah. Go, infringement. God will deliver you. <laughs> All right. Let's pray. <laughs> <laughs> let's pray. Okay, let's close our eyes and pray. Father Lord, we want to thank you for this class. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the resources of this class. Lord, we give you the glory because you have helped us thus far. Let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. And please, as you chat with your colleagues, tell them our classes are going on that uh, they should not joke with their studies. So, eh? Wait, Sam. Yes. Sam, here. We this class we are having, are you people going to repeat it when you go back to school? What? Repeat what? When you come back, not you are going to write your exam. You have an exam. Eh? <laughs> Wait, we need to come over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you, it's not you are putting on your video. Uh, as, uh, uh, so that Messi, so I will not call you, isn't it? And uh, you are telling me yes, that you just came. <laughs> you just came now. Yep. What happened? What happened? Well, so you can just attend any time you like. Feel like maybe five minutes to the time you just come. No, no, no. Please, no, please. So I want you to do more, do better. Okay, Messi, do you get it. Sir? Uh, you, get you know what? The... Your notes. Your note that I gave you. That's some explanations that you are not gaining. You are not benefiting. I'm telling you the truth. Now look at them, Joba and all this. They are updating themselves. You got that some explanation that I'm saying now that is not part of you know. You know things are event are changing. You understand? Event are changing, and it will really it will help you to develop your point. And uh, this by the time you want to write your work now, you'll be able to portray your point well. You able to explain it well. You can get your A. But if you're not attending classes, honestly, you just you just take the point, just give them like that, and uh, without a good explanation, you understand. So please uh, don't come late again, okay? Mercy, is that taking? Sir, yes, uh, sir. I hope uh, you change. I want to say I want I want you to be the first person I will see next week. Hmm? Before before one thirty, I want to see you waiting for me. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, yes, waiting for you All right. Thank you very much, and uh, have a wonderful time. So good day. And uh, please stay safe. Hmm? Use your hand sanitizer. Use your nose mask and the rest. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>